Let's check out some Wilson Frogs. Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And as I said, in this video we're going to be checking out some awesome frogs. This time a species of poison dart frog, the blue poison dart frog. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have the blue poison dart frog or Dendrobates tinctorius azurus. So they get their scientific name from the blue colour. The azurus part of it means blue, essentially. And these guys are absolutely stunning frogs, as hopefully you can see. So, so these guys uh, yeah, belong to the Dendrobates group of the dart frogs. And yeah, they come from southern Suriname. All the dart frogs come from kind of South and Central America. And so there are a few various different genuses within the group. And most of them are very brightly coloured. Now they get the bright colours, or they have the bright colours, because they are incredibly toxic in the wild, or a lot of them are fairly toxic. Well, in captivity, these aren't uh, poisonous whatsoever, really, because uh, they actually basically assimilate their toxins from the diet they eat. So in the wild, eating uh, things like toxic ants and little toxic beetles and stuff, and they'll put those toxins into their skin. In captivity, we feed them things like fruit flies, bean weevils, uh, pinhead crickets, spring tails, mini isopods and stuff, and these things aren't toxic, but they keep their bright colours, and this is all warning colours, obviously, for predators. Now, these guys are ones at my work, so these are in a real nice big uh, enclosure. They do live with another species of dart frog, which I'll do a video on as well, the Ratanomia amazonicus. So but these are kind of the main ones that people see when they come in. Uh, now to keep these guys, you want really ideally a nice live planted enclosure, feed up with various uh, cleanup crew like, you know, your springtails and stuff, which are food for these guys. They are microphages, so they eat tiny, tiny things. Uh, really the largest thing that they like is a nice big fruit fly. Um, and that is the staple that we give them is fruit flies as well as like I say, yeah, spring tails and uh, isopods and stuff. And you want it nice, uh, quite uh, humid in as well. So we aim for around about kind of 90-95% humidity. You do want dry areas from to get on to and stuff. You don't want the substrate being absolutely saturated. No, that's not good for them at all. So, um, so we do have dry bits of bark and stones and stuff that they can get onto. Very shallow water bowls, um, just for, again, add that humidity. It will go in there a little bit, but not overly much. And these are diurnal species, so they're active during the day. So we do give them a UV light at one part of the enclosure. Um, really aim for kind of a UV of about 1.1 uh, as a maximum uh, for these guys. They will go under it a little bit, but not hugely. And then again, temperature, they don't really want to go above 26 degrees Celsius. So that is the blue poison dart frog. Okay guys, so that was the blue poison dart frog. What do you guys think? Aren't they absolutely beautiful? They're stunning frogs. Uh, so yeah, I keep these guys at my work. They're part of the zoo collection. Uh, and they are fantastic. They've made absolutely fantastic additions uh, to the collection uh, in my workplace and in uh, the building that I work in. So they're uh, always active. They uh, are yeah, absolutely awesome. So, and uh, yeah, dart frogs just as, as a whole are just an amazing, amazing group of frogs. So, uh, across various different uh, geniuses. So, but guys, um, yeah, did you like this video? If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, pop some comments down below as well. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. You can also now join as a channel member if that's something that interests you. Um, or if you're not able to do that, but you would still like to support further, I do have Patreon as well. As well as various other things like uh, affiliate links for, for the Spider Shop, uh, merch store, discount codes uh, for um, MK Exotics and Antscapes. All those links are down in the description, um, so as well as links to my Instagram and my TikTok as well. Uh, but guys, until next time, thank you for watching, take care and keep rocking.